Alright, well, time to do something a little different. Uh, I'm gonna open up some, some Pokemon cards, why not? Except I would if they actually got here on time, because Walmart apparently just delayed my order, even though I did it four days in advance. Uh, thanks Walmart, or should I call you Fraud Mart? Uh, yeah, really, really cool, cool of them to do that when the newest set just got out. Uh, but don't worry, when my friends uh, came in clutch and got me a full, that's right, a full goddamn box, a full booster box of uh, cards for us to open of the newest set. How do you bend these? I think it's late. There we, there we go. They can't really get this all in focus, but yeah, this is a, this is a full fat, I think, uh, 36 uh, booster packs. All present accounted for, fine ledger, uh, of the newest set, Scarlet and Violet Paradox Rift. Sheesh, oh my damn, look at these bad boys. Surely we get something, right fellas? Surely, surely we get something. Surely I didn't waste exorbitant amounts of money of hard USD on cardboard. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty hyped for this. Uh, I'm, I haven't really opened this many goddamn cards before. This is a lot of goddamn cards. This is gonna be a video, guys. This is, <laughs> this is gonna be a vid. Uh, the only really thing I'm actually looking for uh, opening these is actually Iron Valiant card, uh, the Paradox one that looks so fucking badass in anime. I, I, I absolutely love the uh, art for that. I uh, Even if I don't get anything, as long as I just get that card, I think I might be sorted. Oh my god, these rip horribly. There we go. I, I haven't opened English set in I don't even know how long. I think, I think it's one to the, yeah, it's just energy on the back, right? And then I think we're good or something like that. I, I don't know, we're, we're gonna figure it out. Anyway, we got Wiglet. Uh, cool Giachi, all right, all right. Uh, the mine, uh, the Minecraft rock. Uh, oh, right, right. So Paracel Lady is also in this set, and it's one of the most expensive cards in this set. Hopefully we get something like that, like a Trainer Full Art, that'd be pretty hype. Uh, oh, and speak of the devil, we have another <laughs> another catch for this, uh, her full art trainer goes for quite a bit, also for the alt art. Okay, we got some Wingle, uh, we got a palm, and we got a, just a, what, hollow? Uh, Porygon Z, so, so far, so bad, we love to see it. Uh, while we're on the topic of uh, Paradox Pokemon, which one do you put? Oh god, let me make sure I don't cut this. Well, which which one do you guys prefer? I prefer uh, future Paradox Pokemon over the past ones. I think they just look cooler. That's just me. I just believe in, uh, you know, future Paradox uh, supremacy. All right, energy off the back. And here we go. All right, all right, yep, yep, Gibble, Pampor, oh, good. got the funny worm man. Oh, it's speaking of the devil, we have a scream tell. Actually, I don't mind the uh, the paradox past forms. I just like the future ones a bit better. I just realized, is this a, yeah, this is like a reverse hollow, I think. It's so hard to tell, the new hollows are like, Kind of bad, in my opinion. They could be. Oh my goodness! And speak of the goddamn devil, in he shall appear. It's literally the card I wanted from the start of the video in the second pack. <laughs> well, then that was fast. Oh my god! Look at this card in all of its amazing glory. This is a beast. I well, end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. That was pretty great. Uh, there's actually another card on the back here. Okay, it's just, it's just hollow, uh, adult dog, who cares? I am already happy. I'm already happy. This is, uh, this is a nice, this is a nice get. This is getting sleeved immediately. How about that? We already just got the thing we wanted. Frame one. Damn. <laughs> Shout out to, uh, my, my good friend who got me this pack. 
today actually look at that it's so clean i love this i love this pokemon i love this game it's so good it's so nice damn that is uh that's nice that's really great already already well then <laughs> uh my expectations weren't very high to get that i mean i do have a whole ass you know booster box in front of me so i you think i would expect that in fact i think like what like th there must be like some get that's just guaranteed in this surely i don't really know the pull rates very well like i'm just a <laughs> i'm just a humble uh shiny collector i don't i don't know i don't usually haven't haven't you know bought cards in some time it's just like the new sets out so you know i didn't want to try my luck and then <laughs> Damn, I just, you know, you just already get it. It's crazy. Some of the other gets in this, I don't really fully expect to get, you know? I think it's like a really rare, like, Garchomp or something. I mean, that'd be nice. I don't think I'm gonna really grade any of these cards. Uh, I just kind of like having expensive, uh, you know, cardboard. <laughs> and then we have a Crobat, and then on the back, finally, we have a Hollow Fox. Swiper, no swiping. Who cares? Now, those of you with a keen eye, uh, see what I did there? K keen eye, like the, like, like the, 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 Anyway, those of you who might have noticed by now, I'm already, I'm committing a horrible sin uh, of many card opening channels. Uh, I'm not gonna be giving out the codes. Oh, what the fuck? I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, listen, I've been trying to get into the online TCG and I'm tired of getting my ass cheeks clapped, all right? The, I can't, like, I'm just kind of just starting out and I don't have any good cards to build a deck and I refuse to use the default set. I, I need, like, I need heat, I need heat. I need to find some, some good cards in here from, you know, from the thing to, to put in my deck. Cause there's no like, there's no like ranking ELO on TCG cause it's like shovelware from like 2005 or something. And uh, the last time I went on, I'm like a fresh new account. And then I go up against this motherfucker with a dark set and every single card just draws dark energy for his fucking Pokemon and I'm just getting destroyed. We got a hollow nimble, nimble. And uh, we got some cool, we got a, another, is this a double? Uh, reverse hollow. That's cool, I guess. I didn't know they do that. And this woman is taunting me. I'm seeing her a lot. Hopefully we actually get her. That would be kind of heat. Surely there's like one trainer card in here somewhere. And if I had to pick between the two, I definitely want the parasol girl. She is way more expensive. But yes, I'm, I'm very sorry that I won't be giving out the codes. I, I know, dislike me, hate me. I mean, I'm not gonna see the dislikes because uh, YouTube is still very much still afraid of opinions for whatever reason. Speaking of, something that bothers me on YouTube, uh, the dislike thing is gone, right? And like, you can get a plugin to like bring them back, right? Uh, ooh, you know, cool card. Uh, but in the comment section, there's still a dislike like button but it doesn't do anything why does no one talk about this like it doesn't make that likes go down you can't see it why is it even there in the first place okay so apparently this set just has both like reverse hollows like back to back that's interesting and then we have tinglu ting tinglu the uh the giant china shop bowl which also reminds me, I'm pretty sure you can get the legendary quadro, four, whatever, uh, like full arts. Some of them, I think, go for a good amount. Uh, I want the funny fish because of the memes. Uh, the uh, don't care, uh, and it, don't care, it ain't living the 252 special attack choice picks in the sun with heat rock. It'd be funny. I wanted. I don't even like remember what his name is. I because I saw that fish and then I oh wait hold on energy. Uh, I saw that fish and I just kind of named him Gurgle and moved on. But the fish, the funny fish would be pretty cool. I'd I'd like the funny fish. 
Uh, speaking of uh, Scarlet and Violet, the DLC was pretty pretty solid for about like what thirty five dollars. Uh, I was like really blown away by the uh, the gameplay and the story was like really carrying it. Uh, it like kind of just left me wanting more. And unfortunately, it has done something that uh, you should never do. Uh, and not just in Pokemon, but just in any gaming franchise, it has uh, raised my expectations. So now, uh, for the uh, with Indigo Disc, ooh, oh hey, I don't know. There's a full art Iron Moth. That'd be pretty cool. It'd be pretty nice. Uh, I will be pricing these uh, based off of like, you know. A grading or whatever the fuck, like the highest grading possible, uh, grade 10. You know, theoretically, theoretically, if there's, you know, in perfect condition, even though that doesn't matter because grading's like a scam. Like, even if, like, I don't know, like, if this, like, talk sold, like, two inches uh, to the left, that's like a, a grade 8 just because of that. But it's whatever the internet decides to, you know, price these things at. I'm sure it's going to change and fluctuate. But uh, back to the... Uh, to the uh, DLC situation, I'm very, very excited to see where the story goes and see, uh, I think his name is what, Kieran, right? I, I mean, everyone's just calling him the Joker, because he's pretty much the fucking Joker. Like, uh, if he shows up with, like, damage to cross his forehead, I'm not going to be surprised. I don't think anyone will be. Uh, and I can't wait to, you know, see him uh, probably be at the top of the ledger, right? Like, he's probably... I don't know, he's being, like, mind-controlled or something. It's like what from the leaks are saying. Why is Polkia doing the fucking Pepe punch? Anyway, uh, I'm- I, I can't wait to see him again and then, you know, beat him to a, a pulp. Uh, cause, you know, like, you know, all that and he still loses. I am just getting nothing but the future Paradox Pokemon. See, this is what I'm talking about. The, the future Paradox Pokemon supremacy is real, like, they know, they know, dude. I mean, like, I know. <laughs> she she came straight for me. Like, I, second second goddamn deck, and I already got it. Anyway, uh, back to, br so anyway, back to the, uh, the DLC situation. Everyone's, like, talking about Kirin and, uh, his, his Joker moment, you know, him going insane in the membrane and all that. But no one really seems to be talking about Briar. Like, Briar was a bit sus, and even I kind of think, you know, she's a villain. I mean, just look at those eyes, those seductive MILF material eyes. And, I mean, like, she must have some bigger role in the story. She was acting pretty sus, you know what I mean? So I'm sure she's gonna have, like, some type of, like, pull or, like, play into it or something. And then I can't wait to go, like, back down to, like, you know, Era Zero. And, oh! Dear God, did I just pull my very first golden rare card? And I might be mistaken. I might be very mistaken here. Uh, I'm gonna have to price check this, but I, I think this might be the rarest card in the set. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. I don't remember. But my God, this is this is something. This is uh this is a hit, boys, 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 lads. This is a hit. This is the hit. Okay, I, I joked earlier, but I think the video might be done here. I, I peaked. I peaked. It, it's over. It's over. This is the rare... This is some rare shit right here, boys. Uh, damn. Damn. Uh, well, actually, before before I uh, move on from, from this astonishment, I'm just going to... Uh, okay, we got a Galissapod, and I forgot to take off the energy. Haha. <laughs> wow. Wow. Damn, dude. This is- this is heat. This is heat. I- I'm kind of upset that I pulled this. I- I'm not gonna lie to you, actually, because, uh, if you didn't know, there's a golden version of Iron Valiant, and I want that one a bit more than I do this one, and, uh, I mean, like, I'm not mad. I'm not- I'm not mad. I am very happy that I happened to, uh, pull this on camera. Look at, look at that. That's uh, that's a gold card. That is a gold card. Number two hundred sixty-two, uh, ultra rare. Damn. Uh, fuck. What am I supposed to do for the rest of the video? The tension's gone. That's that's it. That's the pull. What are the odds you think of me pulling two golden cards in in one you know in, in uh, one video? I I think it's doubtful. 
I mean, it'd be pretty funny, but I think it's doubtful. I mean, again, I need to do some, some price checking. I did a little bit of homework on this set. It is literally brand new. Uh, at least it's brand new to me. I'm gonna take off the energy. Uh, I, I mean, like, I think, I think this is the rarest. It's either this one or it's like a Terastalize, uh, uh, Garchomp or something. Something of that sort. I don't know. All I know is that's a gold card. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe the vid uh, like and subscribe to the, uh, the video here. I say subscribe, but my upload schedule is fucking horrendous. Uh, anybody who's been subbed to me longer than a week or two would probably know that. Sorry guys, uh, I have a life, I have a job, uh, I would do YouTube full time, but I, we're not there yet guys, we gotta, we gotta build, and uh, I'm, hopefully this gets some views to, to build upon that, but you know, if you, you know, just drop a sub and then, you know, once in a while I'll drop a video, that's just how it works. But anyway, oh, and uh, we got our first double of uh, Iron Muff. Still a bit shooken that I just pulled that, by the way. Um, get ready for me to fucking talk about that for the entire video. You know, I I am just this is just <laughs> what a what a time what a time. Uh, literally my first ever YouTube uh, pulling of uh, Pokemon cards on on the channel, and I pull a fucking gold card. Like, are you kidding me? It's pretty good. I mean, I, I got a full box. I guess it's just to be you know to be expected but I'm pretty sure that card might pay for that entire box and then some, that's pretty nice. Uh, I completely lost my composure. What the fuck was I even talking about before that? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I think it was the DLC. Uh, the DLC is probably gonna be really great. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, and uh, the, coming up next, there we go. Coming up next for Pokemon from uh, Scarlet and Violet, is going to be remakes, everyone's favorites. Uh, my favorite, black and white. That's right. I mean, I technically my first generation uh, was Gen 2 on the Game Boy Color when I was like seven and didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I was just pressing buttons, right? But that's all of us, that's, that's everyone's experience. And then when I gained sentience, uh, I played black and white. Uh, I think I played. Uh, yeah, black? I'm pretty sure? Pokemon Black? Because I wanted... I wanted, a uh, Zekrom, but Pokemon was quirky and changed the naming, or at least my expectations, and I think Black was Reshiram, and White was Kikirim, and I didn't realize that, so I went with, uh, Kirim. And what's funny is, I actually like Kirim more growing up now. Kirim is just cooler to me I, I don't know it's it's funny how I just do like a 180 on that uh, but my favorite legendary of all time is Rayquaza and uh, my favorite Pokemon of all time is Shindelore but uh, anyway go, going back on track uh, I think remakes I don't know I don't know what the fuck everyone's problem is online saying oh we don't need we don't need remakes for black and white they already got their remakes of black and white too which based games you should absolutely uh, get that and play that. I actually recently beat it just again for shits and giggles because I was feeling like nostalgic. Uh, solid games, full of fucking content, really solid games. There's, uh, Palkia doing the Mei Mei slap. Uh, and I'm, I, I understand the, the stigma because, you know, Ika uh, made the last remakes and they were, um, something. They, they definitely were a game. And, uh, yeah, I, I also really wouldn't want, uh, Ika touching fucking anything Pokemon related after that. I didn't buy it, I didn't play it, um, I'm not really a, uh, a Sinnoh, a Sinnoh stand. I mean, you know, you can be, I'm not saying, like, that's a bad thing, I like this art. Uh, it's just, they, I didn't like the art style, uh, at all, the, the chibi 3D didn't really work well. I heard a lot of people saying they would prefer Pokemon did like an Octopath Traveler's uh, art style or like 3D and like 2D uh, for the remake. That would actually fucking slap, right? But you know, it's it's whatever. And I don't think, hold on, hold on. Why is my man stanced up like that? Why, why is this card, why does Aura Beetle going real hard right now? That's a fucking, that's a hard stance he's having. Uh, Anyway, 
Anyway, um, I don't know why people freak out every time we get like remakes coming up because, uh, because because Pokemon never does the same art style twice for a game like or, or like a remake. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I've like I noticed that. So even if you hate BDSP art style, I'm not really too high on it either. Uh, I wouldn't really worry because we're definitely gonna get like a new art style or something like that. For sure, they always do that. They always just give a, like a new art style for each game, so that way you know people can distinguish them. I don't really like Ika. Uh, Ika doesn't know. Doesn't seem like they know what they're doing. Uh, I mean, I don't work at Game Freak, so I don't know. Hey, could you focus? Hey, hey, buddy, could you? There you go. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't work at Game Freak. You're right. I don't know what the hell they're doing down there, but uh, Ika. Ika needs a little bit of a uh, refine tuning before they touch another remake, I feel. Spin-off games would be fine, but like a whole ass remake? Yeah, I don't know. Not to mention, I don't really understand, like everyone looks at Ika, right? And they look at BDSP. Uh, and no one talks about Arceus. Legends, Legends Arceus. And yes, it's pronounced Arceus, not Arceus. Mother motherfuckers, when you ask them what the Arc phone is called, like, bruh, anyway, uh, even if we get some chibi, like, baby-ass, like, you know, Pokemon game, uh, we'll probably, I mean, I don't want to say that we're gonna get a, um, a Legends Arceus, or, sorry, a Legends, I guess, Kiram style game. We definitely could. Hey, we got some nice, we got some very nice, uh, alt art of Swablu. Look at that! Oh, look at the lads! Oh, oh, look at that! Ooh, look at that sun! That sun gray has just come down. Nice warm colors. I love this. I, lo I love the art parts. It's pretty sick. And then we got a little Zatu. Uh, but anyway, we're definitely gonna get like some. I mean, sorry, we, we might we might get like a Legends Arceus or a Legends uh, Kiram game that would go fucking hard. That would go insanely hard. I would love to see. Yeah, I would definitely love to see uh, a Legends uh, Kiram type thing and like see like the third dragon that Kiram and Reshiram and uh and uh Zakaram were once one dragon that would be so cool I I'd love that don't know if they're gonna do it and you know even if the I say this with like every like remake or like Pokemon game to come out like even if it fucking sucks uh just wait for the next one you might like the next one you know like people everyone's always so quick to judge and be like oh this game sucks, I, I don't like the art style, yada yada yada, right? And, I don't know, it's like, it's not gonna be the last Pokemon game ever created. People act like it, it is. Like, just wait for the next one. I know it sucks sometimes, you know, if you're not unhappy with the game. But, uh, I didn't like Let's Go. Let's Go was like... I was like, what is this, right? It's just like a phone game for like, $60, I'm good. And then I got Sword and Shield, and I love those games, actually. Uh, I know I just said that on the internet.com and people are gonna run to the comments and tell me that I'm wrong and why I should hate Galar, but I don't. Galar is pretty solid region for everything it's worth. The the story was a bit lacking, but you know, I, I enjoyed my time. It was actually pretty cool. And speaking of uh, bad designs, uh, the one thing where this one actually might be very controversial in the comment section, depending on uh, my subs here, but, uh, the 1,000th Pokemon being Gimme Ghoul and Goldingo. These Pokemon are fucking ugly. They are the Redditmon. I don't like them. I don't like String Cheese Man. I don't like the Goblin. They're ugly. They're ugly. I'm sorry, they're ugly. I, you know, when you see new Pokemon designs, any new generation, any new starters, people tend to, like, you know say like yeah they're fucking disgusting they're ugly they, they they say this every goddamn generation right uh but things change things meld better and uh people kind of get used to the new designs you know you, you let it settle in it's been like a year now i think and i still hate a lot of the new pokemon that they're just really fucking ugly in in my opinion uh, <laughs> and for the 1,000th Pokemon to just be, uh, I don't, I don't know, like, Applejack's mascot, I'm not feeling it. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be real. I'm not feeling it. I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling it, guys. Anybody else agree? It's actually funny that I even mentioned him, 
because, uh, oh, by the way, real quick, that was one stack of the, uh, the mega pack that we got. Uh, here's the rest. So we still, we still got a bit of a video here, lads. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I digress. Uh, I just don't like them. I just don't like them. Uh, by the way, uh, sorry if the, uh, quality of this video is a bit scuffed. Uh, I am, if you couldn't tell, I'm using my phone, and, uh, I don't own a good camera, so, uh, yeah. Also, I think I forgot to take, yeah, I forgot to take off the energy. Uh, I pretty much lied to you all. Like, this isn't even just me, like, opening cards anymore. This is just a fucking podcast. Like, I, I truly am just saying words, and you are listening. At least I think you are. You're probably just putting this on the background because you're bored. I know I would. And oh, there he is, there, Chin, Chin Yu, Chin Yu, my boy, it's Gurgle, guys, Gurgle, this is, this is his official name, I choose to name him Gurgle, I like Gurgle, he's funny. Man, as I've been shooting the shit and just kind of like talking or whatever, I, we really are just kind of running through these packs. Anyway, uh, something else that I've kind of been seeing floating around on the internet is talk about the new Switch 2 or whatever. Uh, we know nothing about it, really, uh, apart from the fact that it has, like, what, PS4 graphics or something? And in the year of 2024, I think, because that's when it's probably going to release, uh, that's not really that good. It's kind of bad, but you know what? Uh, the Switch is just a bona fide tablet, and also we got a, I think this is a secret, yeah, this is a secret rare or something? I'm pretty sure you can go to focus here. That is, yeah, no, this is a, uh, this is a special alternate art, uh, of, uh, Puzzle. I've actually seen this card, uh, it'd be really funny if you get the, the mining one. But yeah, it's just two bros sitting on the couch, watching the footy. And, uh, oh, hey, oh god. Group Bonnet. Uh, on the, the back. I don't like Group Bonnet. Ooh, gross. But I do like this alternate art. This is really nice. I like this. Pretty clean. Honestly, I feel like this video is pretty much going well so far and so good and not for any uh, particular reason or anything. Uh, but I think I also did order more cards. Uh, they're coming in the mail eventually, so I'm gonna be opening up, I think, another set of this exact set right here of Paradox Rift because I wasn't sure if I was going to pull uh, the card I wanted the most, which is Iron Valiant right here, which I already got, uh, but it's too late to cancel now. I'm far too deep. <laughs> you know what they say about gambling kids? Uh, they... Oh shit, whoops. Uh, you know what they say about gambling kids? 100% uh, of gamblers quit before they hit it the big time, and I've already hit it the big time, so I could literally just stop the video right now anyway, because of what I pulled, but, you know, I, I bought these cards, and I, you know, I just... I just, just want to show the world some some cool Pokemon shit. I mean, why not, right? Also, while I have you here, uh, some of my older subs, uh, I'm sorry for not uploading as much as I, you know, should be or could be, especially because a lot of you are probably from uh, uh, the uh, Pokemon Unite days. Uh, thank you for that, by the way. Thank you for subscribing and uh, watching that video and that series I did for as long as I did. I don't really play it anymore uh, of my own volition because the game fucking sucks. I mean, I made a whole video about it and uh, I even thought about like coming back uh, to Unite to like, you know, update the Pokemon Unite sucks, like see if anything changed, see if they did anything like better, any like new quality of life, and I mean, I haven't really like dived in or like played it in a while, but looking from the sidelines and looking at other people play it, uh, they haven't changed jack shit. If anything, it might even be in a worse state than I left it. But uh, you know, I mean, the game's still fun if you enjoy it, you know what I mean? Like, it's just when I was recording and doing the same edits and same video and uh, trying to like squeeze out uh, a video like pretty quickly uh, with editing and music and all that and trying to find the right music. It was a pain in the ass. I just, I just couldn't do it. I'm sorry. Hey, it's the goodest of girls. It's Zashian. Zashian, hey. Wait, wait is it Zashian or Zamazenta? I'm pretty sure it's Zamazenta. 
wait, fuck, uh, I, I just had it right here, it's Zashi, hey, it's, it's the goodest of girls, it's, it's the sword pupper, but not the shiny version, also this is the last card, uh, but yeah, sorry again for not, uh, just kind of leaving guys in the dark on that one, you know how it is, I just want to move on and do other things, get more, like, creative, I don't want to be just kind of known as the, uh, Unite guy, I mean, I, if you look at my fucking channel, I might as well be, it's the most viewed thing on there, but, you know, I, I want to move on to, to other pastures and do some variety stuff, you know what I'm saying? I, I want to, I want to, like, have fun <laughs> when I make videos, that's kind of why I'm doing this, this is something new and something I've never done before, uh, and it's scuffed. It's scuffed. Oh, I know. It's scuffed. Don't you worry. I know it's bad. But, but you know, you don't, no one comes out the fucking pussy uh, a master at anything. You kind of gotta get better at it as you do it. And I got some more stuff coming for this. And, you know, uh, as long as you're willing to watch, I'm willing to make. And really, it's just like a chill thing, like a chill little podcast. I don't know. I'm just kind of talking to you while I hopefully pull. I need a follower of this of this fucking woman right now. Oh my god, I love Goth Velma. She's so fucking hot. Anyway, moving on. Uh, hey, we got a nice uh, reverse. I mean, hollow, right? Yeah, hollow Groudon. Man, you can really tell that this is like unscripted and off the cuff because I forgot that I was talking about the fucking Switch 2 rumors and I somehow started talking about my channel. Uh, anyway, <laughs> about the about the Switch 2, uh, or I don't know, Switch sequel, some of the other things that are very concerning that uh, hopefully aren't true is that it's also going to be portable, which is bad because that means they're sacrificing uh, quality and uh, horsepower, get it? Br Br Britzel, Brazel, Brazzers, uh, for just like their gimmick of it being portable. Uh, like Nintendo, you guys have been the king of portability for like your games and handhelds and all that. But like, please let it go. Please let it go. No one cares. Please let it go. Uh, I want a console, not like a you know a Fisher Price toy that costs potentially four hundred dollars and runs like shit. Uh, the Switch has really overstated its, its welcome, I feel. Like, back in, like, 2017, right, it, like, it was great, it was cool, uh, it was the thing. Everyone has one, everyone has one now, and that's, that's cool and all, but, like, bro, I, I don't know. I kind of want games to just run well and not be, like, I don't know, com like, Discord, Twitter compressed into a video game for like uh you know unit price of about sixty dollars i don't really want that I, I want quality but yeah it's probably just like a matter of time before they drop a trailer uh for it because uh if i remember correctly on twitter they it was like announced that or reported that they uh took down the original switch trailer uh, and maybe even like the oled one too i don't remember but it, yeah, everyone, everyone's like, hmm, interesting. So when's, when's it dropping, right? Like, I, I also wonder, and hopefully I get one, because it's going to get scalped to hell and back. Uh, love that. Even though, you know, we know nothing about it or anything like that. It's probably still like a ways away. I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'm ready to get the, the new newer version of the Switch. This is a really cool Deoxys card. Look at that. Ooh, pretty cool. I like this. I like the art. But I'm I'm ready for I'm ready for an upgrade. I think everyone is. Uh, it's been six years. Please move on, bro. I can't believe I'm saying this, uh, but I I think I'm I think I'm hitting a dry spell. Like we haven't really gotten anything like uber crazy yet. Like uh, I don't know. I've gotten like two full arts, maybe three, and eh, like two. Uh, one of them being gold, right? <laughs> so I really shouldn't be complaining. But I don't know, I was expecting like a, a full art trainer by now or something. Surely something's coming up, right? Like right, right here, this is it, this is the card. I, I hope you're watching. BAM! Yeah, dude, look at that! It's a double! It's a double Zatu! That's what I wanted. That <laughs> Let me stop. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I could literally get fuck all for the rest of the video and I would still be kind of ecstatic. Like, let's be real here. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. And we still got quite a few packs left. 
I mean, there's still there's still oil in the in the in the well. I mean, fucking. I mean, look at me. <laughs> I pulled a gold card on camera, and I'm actually still complaining. Like, I'm I'm absolutely just the worst person alive, truly. <laughs> Most people would be kill me for this card, dude. I, I would get sniper wolfed. Which uh, a bit uh, a bit off topic. Uh, so I'm not. I wouldn't consider myself a FNAF fan. I don't. I've never played the games. I've never watched someone play the games, and I know next to nothing about the lore or like pretty much anything. Uh, all I know is like the, there's like dead kids or ghosts in the the robot suits or something, something like that. And uh, I saw the FNAF movie, and. Be, you know, like, my friends were kind of just telling me, like, oh, you know, just come check it out, it'd be a fun time, and, you know, it, it, it was, I, I did enjoy it, uh, with my friends, but then online, you see, like, the, uh, the critics gave it such a low score of about 25, and before I watched the movie, I was wondering, like, why, why did critics give this such a low scoring? Uh, like, is it that bad? Right. And, uh, I will say this now, uh, I'm not a movie snob, nor will I ever will be. But, after watching it, yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna side with the critics. Uh, the movie fucking sucked. Uh, <laughs> like, it was really bad in terms of, like, continuity and, like, storytelling. I, the characters really just be saying words, and, I don't know, like, nothing really happens. Uh, like, you would expect them to, like, I don't know, have, like, some form of, like, coherency or common sense. I, I get it, like, it's a movie and you're, like, you know, you're supposed to, like, suspend your disbelief and all that, but there was just so much shit that just dragged me out of the plot and, like, out of the story, and I just couldn't. This is so cool! I love this Magby art! Oh my god, look at that! Look at him, he's having a little bath, a little scorcher, oh my god, look at him! That's okay, look at that, complaining works everyone. I'm joking, don't do that. But uh, yeah, the movie was a bit weird. Alright, what do we got in the back? Okay, this is just Minecraft. But um, yeah, I don't know, how did you, if any of you guys saw the movie, how did you feel about it? I felt, I don't know, it, it felt a little weird to me. Uh, kill me in the comment section for saying this. I, I've seen what you FNAF fans do <laughs> when someone doesn't agree with you. I saw, I saw, I saw that premiere. I saw that, I saw the fight of 87. But uh, I mean, like, overall, uh, it could have been worse. It could have been a worse movie. Like, is it bad? Y yes. But, uh, you know, if you're a FNAF fan, I think you'd like it. it it's, it's all right. You know, there's worse movies out there. Although I will say that one scene with MatPat wanted made me want to just get a game in myself. That was that was something I lived to see, huh? Okay, man. Okay. Yo! And well, I mean, I, I mean, I mean, she a baddie though. And this is a full art trainer. We would we were due for one, I feel. I was wait. I was absolutely just waiting for a uh, full one. There we go. Look at that, dude. And this is alt art as well. Number uh, oh man, I love my phone. Number two hundred fifty-four, and it's Mela and her charcoal. This is this is clean. This is very clean. I don't know how much this bad boy goes for. I don't think it's that expensive. I could be very wrong, but we will find out in editing. So you can tell me just how, uh, you know, <laughs> how much I underreacted for that. Also, there's still another card underneath, and it's just a hollow. But yeah, that's, this is nice. This is nice. Man, it seems that... It seems that my camera doesn't want to focus. Uh, it seems that when I complain, I get what I want. <laughs> I'm just saying, this is... No, this is very good. This is very nice. If you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to leave me a nice little like. It will help my fragile little ego uh, be boosted for the next day. I mean, I mean, like for my first uh, card opening, this is uh, I I should stop complaining. <laughs> I really should. Like, it's only getting better and better so far. But again, I mean, I mean, it ain't no uh, <laughs> it ain't no parasol trader. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Back, that'd be pretty cool. 
And no, imagine if it was that. Imagine, imagine I. Oh wait. Oh, uh, no, I'm joking. I'm, I, I pulled you a good fuck. <laughs> but imagine, imagine I just pulled that right there, and then you'd probably think this is like a uh, a Wade, like a Wade pack or something or whatever. Uh, as far as I know, I just got these from my friend who uh, works in a uh, a card shop and texted me that the new set is out and that they had it so I, was, I I had to jump on that and man I am happy I did but boy these pieces of cardboard are expensive they're really expensive you know I mean I made my money back most likely even though I'm not going to uh, probably grade these I don't know maybe I will maybe I won't you're just gonna have to subscribe to see but uh, anyway, back to the cards, and this is, a, this is a nice cool art or whatever. I, I still need to learn the actual TCG and like what's good, what's bad, what's broken, what's meta. Uh, when I did go on to TCG, the only thing I saw was that one, I think it was like a, uh, uh, I think I think it's like a, like, it was like a tera like a dark terastalized like Charizard card. That shit was broken, bro. Absolutely busted. <laughs> and also, I think I think I just remembered now that this this insane golden Roaring Moon card might not be the most expensive card in the set. It does have something to do with Roaring Moon. I think it's just like the alt art for it. The same alt art for um, Iron Valiant, right? Except it is Roaring Moon, Roaring in the, in the uh, Area Zero. I think that's the most expensive card. I don't, I don't know. Uh, Future Me definitely does, and he will tell you. I don't remember if I took off the energy. I think I did. Uh, but either way, you know, I mean, like, I've never had a golden card. That is literally my first. I'm not joking. Not a bad one to pull. Uh, I would still very much love to find a Golden Iron Valiant because I know that's in this set and uh, I absolutely want that more because like I said, uh, you know, Future Paradox, uh, supre the, the, the Supremacy, also did we really just, <laughs> did, did, did we really, anyway, uh, dude, how many times is Polky gonna fucking slap the camera, man? Stop slapping my camera. Guys, I have some really bad news. We only have four packs left. Oh no, the travesty, the travesty, Travis Scott, and I still don't have the golden robot. Where is she? Where's Where's Parasol Lady? Uh, where Where's anything? Oh no, woe is me. Where's Where's that insanely rare? Uh, uh, what, what was it? A terror terrestrialized Garchomp? Oh no, what will I ever do? <laughs> First world problems, and like. And like, you know, for my first too, like I, I have truly nothing to complain about. Like it's just been it's just been pretty damn good. Anyway, back to the cards. Alright, alright. I mean we're really coming up on the last few set here, so I'm just gonna we're just gonna speed run this bad boy. Uh a little tink a tink, tink a tink. And then I got a little fee bass, another reverse, and motor peckle. Uh, I'll definitely be doing more videos uh, with this, uh, like I said. I have more cards coming in the mail. Hopefully they don't get fucking delayed, like like Fraud Mart uh, delayed my cards. I probably would have gotten them off of Amazon, but I don't really trust Amazon because there's like third-party sellers. And yes, I'm aware, Walmart also gets from third-party sellers, but I didn't know that until uh, it was too late. But, uh, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like Walmart might be a little bit more trusted here. I mean, I don't know. This is from, oh, this, by the way, this is from a card shop. This is from a card shop. So, I gotta, I gotta see what the pulls are like pulling from Walmart, <laughs> uh, delivery. Surely, surely it must be good, right? Surely we'll get, like, another more Peko. I'm gonna have to, like, see just how good, uh, you know. The, the Walmart ones are going to be in the packs. I know it may not have anything to do with like the luck or anything, but I will definitely be ordering my cards from the shop that my friend works at over, uh, you know, some some uh, some corporation type shit. Cause uh, so far it's treating me right. It's treating me pretty good. 
I don't really have anything to compl uh, complain about. Like, I'm, I'm really just... I'm just whining for nothing, really. I'm just doing it for the video. Uh, Alright, and... Okay. So, we are now on the last... <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. We are now on the last pack, and she is front and center. You know, give her, give her a good old, give her a good old rub here, and hopefully, we cash out with something to end the video on. But once again, you know, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for coming out and seeing me fumble the bag, get the bag, and prosper. This is the last set. <laughs> set. This is the last pack. Let's tune in here and see if we get something amazing to end the video off on. And I will see you again next time. All right, Gibble. We got Tinkaton, everyone's favorite, best girl. We got Durant. We got um, Pot Love or whatever. I don't know, Gabagool. We got Nakiel, uh, crying baby. And on the last pack, we got Latios. That is all we got today, folks. And like I said, I have pretty much nothing to complain about. This has been a wonderful, amazing pack opening. My first, not my last. And boy howdy, <laughs> what a, uh, hold on a second. I'm trying to get a nice, gotta get that thumbnail going. You feel me? What a, what an amazing pull that we've had today. Like, we, we got some very nice, very clean looking cards. Full, I, I do love Mel. Wish it was Parasol Girl, but I, you know what, that's fine. I'm gonna stop complaining, I swear. And I got my, I really, I really love this card a lot. Uh, it's just so clean. Ever since I saw it, uh, got like revealed, it is so fucking nice. I love this card, it's so good. So good. But... It's no golden card, that's for sure. This is uh, this is amazing, and yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you again next time. Signing off.